You need to talk to your daughter about starting her own family, leaving the pack. Why? Can't she stay with us just a little bit longer? She needs to go her own way. All right, I'll talk to her, but Good. I can't promise anything. She has a mind of her own. Well, that's her problem. Hi, honey. Can I talk to you for a second? There's something me and your father have been meaning to say. Oh, great. What is it now, Mom? You know how it goes in a wolf pack. When the family grows up, the kids need to go find their own mates. And they need to split off from the pack. It's that time now. You have to find a mate. And I have someone in mind for you, too. Ugh. How many times do I have to tell you, Mom? I'm not interested in that jerk. Ugh. Why did I get stuck with such an ungrateful daughter? Why couldn't you just be more like your little sister? Maybe it's because you're not making my little sister leave her pack. Honey, we both know your younger sister has a lot more time than you. It's time that you find your own path, like your father said. Oh, of course it's dad that's into this. Well, fine, I'm leaving. What do you mean? You can't just leave on your own. This is what I'm trying to tell you. You need to find someone to settle down with and raise a family. Yeah, well, I don't want kids. I'd rather die. Don't you dare speak to your mother in that tone of voice. Yeah, and what are you gonna do about it? Kick me out of the pack? Too late, you already did. Come back here. So, how did the talk go? Sounded like it went really well. You think it went well? Ugh, you don't know your own family, do you? What do you mean? Hey Dad, what was that all about? I have no clue. Well, I saw Mom talking to her sister. What was she talking about? Well, you see, I did tell her something. What? I told her that your sister has to leave the pack. Ugh, well that's good. I'm sick of her loafing around constantly, not doing anything. It's about time she gets out of here. That's what I was saying. But why? I want to play with Eclipse. Why is she leaving? Take this as a warning. You might be next. Hello, Father. I've been looking for grass, and, well, I didn't find any, but I'm sure we'll find some soon. This famine can't last forever. Son, I've been meaning to talk to you about this, but there's just not the right time. There's not enough food to go around for an entire herd, and you're getting older. It's about time you start on your own. Are you talking to our son without me? You know I have an equal say on our children. What's going on? Nothing, honey. Your dad was just being stupid. Enough. Taboo. Stop disrespecting me. You know we had to have this talk sooner or later. Fern, it's about time you learned some of the harsh realities about life. One of them, for example. Horses can starve when there's not enough food. Also, they can die when they're being too greedy to share the resources. Father, I can't believe you would say that. I would never do anything to harm Fern, or Mother, or you. Son, I know you would never purposefully hurt this family, but let's face it. You're a young stallion. You eat the most out of all of us. You can make it on your own, but I have to protect your younger sister and your mother. You know what's best. It's about time you start doing it. Hey, my 
Mercury? Is everything okay? That didn't sound like it went too well. Oh, uh, hey, Strawberry. If you don't mind, I'd just kind of like to be left alone right now. Oh, come on. You can tell me. I'm really good at keeping secrets. <laughs> oh, no. It's just kind of more of like a family thing. You get it? Yeah, families. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you alone for now. <laughs> Mercury, I'm so sorry about your father. I tried reasoning with him, but he just won't listen to me. He's kind of right. There isn't enough food to go around for this herd. And if leaving is the thing I can do to protect you and my sister, then I will. But Mercury, I'll miss you so much. I can't live without my son. I know, but you may not be able to live with me either. Father's right. This famine is killing all of the horse herds around us. I won't let it hurt us, too. I'm sorry, but I'm leaving. What a day. How am I supposed to start my own pack? I don't even like anyone. Well, well, well. Look who it is, Eclipse. Why are you so far away from your pack? No reason. What do you want, King? <laughs> no need to be so angry. Look, I'm just having a bad day, okay? Now can you leave me alone? I just like to be by myself. Yeah, and what are you gonna do about it? You're all by yourself. Just get lost. Oh yeah? Well, you have nowhere to go. If you howl, nobody's gonna hear you. Whoa. Oh, uh, what was that? Did your dad follow you out here? Um... Whoa! I'm out of here. Don't forget about this eclipse. You're not a wolf. Uh, you're not a horse. You better get out of here. This isn't any place for a horse. Well, excuse me. I heard voices and it didn't sound good. You're welcome for scaring that guy off. I could have handled him, okay? Yeah, sure. You've had that handled. Sorry. I was just a little on edge. Thanks. My name's Eclipse, by the way. Yeah, I didn't mean to scare you. My name's Mercury. It's nice to meet you. I've never met a wolf before. And I've never met a live horse. <laughs> Sorry, that came out wrong. <laughs> well, all the things I heard about wolves aren't true. You don't stink at all. Well, excuse me. Whoa. Weren't you supposed to help me? I don't know what came over me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to fall in, or have you fallen either? <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about it. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> Why, is the horse worried about me? No, but what if you run into that guy again? He didn't seem too friendly. Yeah, hopefully he won't come back. You should be worrying about yourself. Uh... Will I see you again? Um... Maybe? It's a large forest. I gotta go. Eclipse, huh?